This is the third video for section SEQRE. In this video we're looking at geometric series. Now just like arithmetic series, all we're doing is adding the terms of our geometric sequence. Okay, so you can see a geometric sequence here. Our formulas that we need to use are in this box here. So you need to remember those. Again, which formula you use between these two is going to depend on what kind of information you provided within the question. So let's look at some examples. Find the sum of the first six terms in the following geometric series. 3, 6, 12, 24. Now it does tell me it's geometric so I don't need to prove that and we're looking at the first six terms so we want S is 6 so N is 6. So I write out what I have. A1 is 3. R is going to be 6 divided by 3 is 2. I want S of 6, so N is 6. Write my formula. SN equals A1, 1 minus R to the N, all over 1 minus R. So S6 is going to be 3 bracket 1 minus 2 to the power of 6, all over 1 minus 2. That becomes 3 bracket 1 minus 64, all over negative 1. So I have 3 times negative 63, all over negative 1 which gives me 189. Finish with a therefore statement. So you've got the sum of the first six terms is 189. Next, A1 is 500. Common ratio is negative 1 over 10, which you might want to use as negative 0 0.1. Again, we want S6, so N is 6. Write my formula. Now try and do this one on your own. Pause the video, have a go yourself. It's the same kind of problem as the previous one. Okay, hopefully you've already had a go. So you've come back to the video. So we've plugged in 1 minus, put that negative in a bracket because it's to the power of an even number, so it's going to become positive. Again, put the negative in the bracket here because the minus minus is going to become a plus. So be careful of little things like that. It can be a negative that throws the whole lot out. So you've got 500, 1 minus 0 0.123451 all over 1.1. Plug that in your calculator, you get 454.545. Finish with a therefore statement. So you've got the sum of the first six terms is 554.545. Okay, next one, how many terms of the series 1 over 9 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus da 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 must be added to result in a sum of 13 and 4 ninths. Now no, it doesn't say it's geometric, so we should really prove that because we might have an arithmetic question. I know that I can't add and get the subsequent numbers, so 1 third divided by 1 ninth. You could do this on your calculator if you want, or you can just do it by hand if you remember how to do fractions, and you get 3. 1 divided by a third is 1 times by 3 over 1, which is 3. So therefore it is geometric. So we have that A1 equals 1 over 9, we have that R equals 3. Okay, so from there we move on to try and figure out what our answer is. We know that S of N is also 13 and 4 over 9 because that's given in the question. So I, there's a lot of fractions here so I'm probably going to try and leave my answers as fractions. Let's write our formula out. Get A1, 1 minus R to the N for 1 minus R. Plug in. 13 and 4 ninths. Let's change it to an improper fraction. 13 times 9 plus 4 gives me 121 over 9. So I've got 121 over 9 equals my A, which is 1 over 9, 1 minus R, which is 3, to the power of N, which I don't know, all over 1 minus 3. Okay, from there, 121 over 9 equals 1 over 9, 1 minus 3 to the N over negative 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. I'm going to very much run out of room, aren't I? So I've got 121 over 9, and I want to times that by 2, 
or negative 2 and you'll get I mean just multiply across the top if you want 121 times negative 2 so negative 242 over 9 equals 1 over 9 1 minus 3 to the n okay I'm going to continue over here again you would work down your page I'm now going to multiply both sides by the 9 that I have there which means that's going to cancel and that's gone so now I have negative 242 equals 1 minus 3 to the n take 3 take 1 from both sides so I get negative 243 equals negative 3 to the n swap the negatives over so 243 equals 3 to the n I want to solve that so I'm going to use logs okay rearrange in terms of a log or just take a log of both sides either way will work so I've got ln of 243 equals ln of 3 to the n so ln of 243 equals n, n ln of 3 so n is going to be ln of 243 over ln of 3 again okay, you would work down your page but to make it easier for you so you can see plug that in your calculator and you get n is 5 finish with a therefore statement so you've got 5 terms must be added to get 13 and 4 ninths I'm going to highlight that since I've gone everywhere. Rem, please remember to work down your page. Don't do what I'm doing. It's mainly just so you can see everything on a page. Next, find the sum. Okay, so I'm looking at the sum of from k equals 1 to 10 of 0.2 to the k. So that means that my first term is 0 0.2. My r, well I'm multiplying by the 0 0.2 and I want s of 10. If you don't get that, if you can't see that, expand it out. Okay, so we're going from k is 1 to 10. So that means I've got 0.2 to the 1. Next I plug in 2. 0.2 squared. Now 3. 0 .3 sorry, 0 0.2 to the 3. Okay, so you can see what I've written here. So if you couldn't see that straight off, start writing out your series so you can get it. Okay, from there, write out the formula. plug in why have I got 10 here because I've got a 10 there I want the 10 terms 0 0.21 minus 0 0.2 to the power of 10 all over 1 minus 0 0.2 simplify it a bit if you want or plug it in your calculator and you get approximately 0 0.24 or well, there's lots of nines 9 9 9, 9, 9, 9, 7, 4. Okay, a therefore statement to finish. So the sum is equal to approximately 0 0.25, so you can see that I've rounded up there. Next, or the last one here, find the sum of negative 16, 8, negative 4, etc., up to an eighth. Again, I don't know if it's arithmetic or geometric. I can't see that I'm going to be able to subtract the same amount and get each term, so I'm going to prove that it's geometric first. So 8 divided by negative 16 is negative a half. Negative 4 divided by 8 is negative a half. So it is geometric. We have a1 is negative 16 and we have r is negative a half. I also know that my last term in this case, my an, is 1 over 8. Okay, so looking at my formula. So now I'm going to use my other formula, s of n equals a1 minus r a to the n all over 1 minus r, plug in negative, one, negative 16 minus negative a half times by the eighth all over 1 minus negative a half, remembering that's a negative there, and plugging that in your calculator you get negative 10.625. So therefore, the sum is ten, sorry negative 10.625. So what now? Complete exercise SEQR E3 of your textbook. Remember to check your answers.